Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we are diving into the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock. It is going down, baby, and there will hopefully be some new bugs to add to our team by the end of this episode. If you guys are enjoying this series, and I know you guys are, show some love, take a second, hit that like button down below, and definitely make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on the epic bug lock content, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to miss out. We've been having a blast, and I am very excited to keep this bad boy going and get some really, really cool encounters here. The first thing is we're going to go through this cave. We're going to rock smash. We're going to work our way to Floor Roma Town, and then we're going to throw down. It's going to be amazing. If you guys haven't done so yet, I want to let you guys know the day this video goes up, my G Fuel flavor, Shawnee Splash, which you can see back here, is 30% off. I drink this stuff every single day. It's a great blend of vitamins, antioxidants, and energy that'll keep you fueled and energized throughout the day. There's only 15 calories and zero sugar. It's a powder that you mix with water, and it's an energy drink, essentially, so I do recommend 18 and up for it. My flavor, Shiny Splash, is obviously Pokemon-inspired, Shiny-inspired, and it is blueberry lemonade. It's one of the top flavors. You guys can check the link in the description below and use code ADRIVE to get 30% off your purchase right now picking up some G Fuel. So take advantage of that, grab some G Fuel, and I uh, highly recommend it. Shiny Splash is my flavor. You guys see, I've, I've got the G Fuel shirt on. I drink this stuff every day, guys. Like, legit, it's my favorite favorite drink, and uh, I've been drinking it for years. I've been partnered with them for years. Rock Tomb is a really good item. Let's go. Highly recommend. So yeah, go get some G Fuel. If we can learn Rock Tomb, that would actually be kind of clutch. We cannot learn Rock Tomb, sad. And there's only one of them. So when you find them randomly, you only get one. When a gym leader gives it, you get five, and when someone gives it to you, you get three. Fair enough. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? Because if you only have one type, you'll have a hard time against types it's weak to. How does he know? How does he know? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna beat up some trainers on this route. It looks like there's a bug catcher up ahead. And uh, our main objective right now is to get to the honey trees, because that should give us an opportunity to get some sweet uh, bug type Pokemon. And, uh, and add to the team, so it's not just Sterling. Because Sterling's been kind of lonely up to this point, so we're gonna get him some friends. That's what our plan is right now. What's my opinion on bug Pokemon, he asks. Well, let me tell you, sir, I actually am dedicating my entire playthrough to bug Pokemon, Brandon. And he's got a Krigaton. What's up, little guy? Bug catcher Brandon and his Krigaton. Again, these battles right now at this point are just super easy for me. We just legitimately Fury Cutter everything. So I'm gonna just Fury Cutter him. There's a double battle up ahead that we can't even do, which is kind of funny. And then we are in Flora Roma Town, and again, one step closer to those honey trees. Here's a little cut tree, and if you look all the way to the right-hand side of the screen, you can see there's a trainer there. We'll have to come back for that. I can't battle them because I don't have uh, a second Pokemon yet. And we'll grab TM09 Bullet Seed. That we can probably learn, though. We can learn Bullet Seed. I'm actually really surprised. And here we are in Flora Roma Town. Very nice. Do you know about Grisidia flowers? Obviously, that is a nice little thing for Shaman. And from the leaks, I know that this is big. We get a Jirachi. There is a Jirachi. And then, yes, I have. They give me a Mew. That's so crazy to me that they give you a Mew and a Jirachi like right out the gates. Level five Jirachi, level one Mew. I find that actually interesting. This is a Rash Nature in Floroma Town, Serene Grace. And this is a Serious Nature in Floroma Town with obviously Synchronize and Reflect type. Neither of them are bug types. So for now, they will hang out in our boxes. I know there was a lot of controversy about people saying that, oh, it's kind of lame that they're giving you these mythical Pokemon so early. But I say like, go for it, dude. If you don't want to use them, then don't use them. Like no one's forcing you to use those Pokemon, you know what I mean? Like, I think they're super epic. Oh, they sell more net balls here as well. I guess I'll grab two more. And super potions might be handy as well. Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. All right, so Team Galactic gotta be chilling in the meadow. These orange berries are quite nice. Uh, we can utilize these different berries. What are these, cherries? Yeah, we can utilize the different berries since our held items are a little bit lacking right now. And we get the spray duck, which is a nice little side duck spray can. Oh, I can trade berries for stickers. <gasps> Oh, I love it. I love it. Look at the spark sticker, the sinister. Oh my God, why are the stickers the best thing ever? Okay, I need more song stickers. Song sticker D. I need to get some Chesto berries so I can get some song stickers. 
A cherry berry. That's not a I need Chesto berries for my little friend. Do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Yeah, TM pluck. That's so good. TM88 pluck. Not sure it's gonna help me here, but it's good to have it. Here's the Team Galactic grunts. Ah, they're assigned here, and then they're probably not gonna move. Yeah, they're gonna stay there. They're not gonna leave. But now's a good time to ask our question of the day. Who is your favorite evil team in Pokemon? You guys can let me know in the comments section below as we head to Route 205. And we're gonna get two Chesto Berries. Gonna need more than that, but you guys can let me know your favorite evil team in the comment section below. I'm gonna say mine is Team Skull, just because I thought they were like super duper goofy and relatively entertaining. But you guys can let me know your thoughts. Help, help, trainer! Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Wind Works, but the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let him in. All right, and we obviously can't go that way. And here are the Valley Wind Works, and there's the dude standing in front. So, this is also our first honey tree, but I don't have any honey yet. So we're gonna have to go deal with the, uh, the, the grunts first. Don't you dare go into the Valley Wind Works. I get orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. All right, you have to battle me for it. All right, we're gonna battle this Team Galactic guy. I remember as a kid seeing the Valley Windworks for the first time. I think it was the coolest thing with like the spinning um, turbines. So cool. And here is Glameow, which is giving me severe flashbacks to the powerful Perugly that is inevitably in our future. But it's only level 11, so we can just Rock Smash. Fake Out is gonna be a thing, but this Rock Smash does a lot. And he's gonna go for Growl. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Battle background looks sick though for Team Galactic. They got they got a sweet, they got like an emblem on the ground. You know what I mean? They've got they've got a little space vibe going on. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I feel like I get them confused with Team Plasma though sometimes. I know they're not the same, but feels like they kind of are. Sterling with a big level 16. And Team Galactic Grunt goes down. Sterling's just crushing right now. Getting owned by some kid, but you can't do the thing if I lock myself in with the works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohort in the flower patch had the other one. Ah, so we must go back to the flower patch then. Hey, you. Enough arguing, hand over that sweet honey. I wonder if I can battle them with only one Pokemon. We can't have the brat running off for help. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. 2v1? Nah, it's just a one, one, one person. All right. I, I, thought, that, I thought maybe it was gonna be a 2v1 battle. I thought that, that would have been kind of interesting. I don't think the game like ever allows that, but it would certainly be interesting. Sterling, let him know! Uh, honestly, I think we just Fury Cutter everything as we have been doing. Oh my God! <laughs> just one shot in that Wurmple. See you later, and a Silcoon. Oh, a little Silcoon. Little baby Silcoon getting Fury Cuttered. My daughter's been singing Little Bunny Foo Foo because she learned it at school. And now she's been singing that. And of course it's stuck in my head. Lucky me, but Sterling puts in the work as usual. Beats the Team Glide to ground. I don't know if that fight the other one or not. They're trying to dock my pay. I'm up next. Oh, I gotta battle him. Okay. All right, I guess I gotta battle both. Let's see what you got, Team Glide to grunt. You have a Zubat, which is a little bit more annoying, right? Cause like Zubat resists all my attacks. And I, I did get rid of Pound, so I am forced to Fury Cutter, which is resisted. I mean, we're gonna beat him, but it's just gonna take a little longer. It's gonna take three Fury Cutters instead of like one or two. And now I gotta deal with Super Sonic, which is very cool animation. And we got the Lucky Duckies, man. My man Munching Orange calls them the Lucky Duckies. Lucky Ducky. We missed. Okay. Well then, so much for the Lucky Duckies. So much for the Lucky Duckies. Now I gotta deal with this again. I gotta fight the Lucky Duckies off. I gotta hit more. I missed again. What are we doing, Sterling? Did you forget to take your afternoon slumber? Have you not had your brunch yet? What are we doing here? All right, we snap out of our confusion. We hit a Fury Cutter finally, and we knock out the Zubat and the other Team Galactic Grunt. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Goodbye Team Galactic Grunts. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day because you have just gotten destroyed by Sterling. This Brad's tough, like really, really tough. Oh my goodness, we're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, what's this thing? It's the works key. Hey, thanks Mr. Honey Guy. You and I are gonna be best friends. 
Give it me the honey. Yes, he gave me the honey. I wasn't sure if my memory was correct. I was like pretty sure that we get the honey before and we can buy honey. I'm gonna buy 10 for a thousand because we're gonna need him. All right, so we're gonna slather our honey here. The only downside is we're gonna have to wait six hours for any of this honey to do anything. And then we have to hope that we get the Pokemon that we want. Now, the good news, if there is some good news here, is we should be able to access a bunch of trees by the end of this episode, at least three to four trees. So we'd be able to check a bunch all at once. And in Eternal Forest, I will be able to get two more bug types. So we are adding new bugs to the team no matter what today. But uh, the good news, as I was saying, is you can, you can save and soft reset in front of the tree and you can change the species that you get. So like if you get a Burmy, you're always gonna get a Burmy but you can change the gender and, and potentially shiny hunt if you wanted to or things like that. So that's the good news for us. So I'm gonna heal up. We're gonna head into the Galactic Hideout. I was hopeful that I was gonna be able to get some, uh, you know, some Pokemon from that. But unfortunately, again, I have to wait six hours. So let's go do the Valley Wind Work stuff. Hopefully we can beat it with what we have. I'm a little nervous that Sterling is gonna struggle a little bit here. And then we'll head up to Eternal Forest. We'll be able to get our next bug Pokemon and uh, we'll hopefully be good to go from there. And while I'm at it, I might as well plant some Chesto berries and sprinkle some water on them so we can get some cool stuff. Oh, it watered both of them, that's cool. Um, you know, we'll get some, some more berries so we can, uh, you know, get some sick seals later on. And let's see what's going down here in the valley, wind works. I mean, I trust that Sterling can hold it down, but I just know that this battle can be really, really tricky. What? No way, you have the key? Lock of the door was meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. There's no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. See you later, bro. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how professional does it. All right. Time to throw down against some Team Galactic grunts in our Cricket Toon solo run. <laughs> Who would have thought? And a Cascoon. Oh, this should be very easy for us. Very, very easy. It is a poison type, though, so it does resist all of our attacks. But um, we should be okay to just go for Fury Cutters a bunch of times and eventually knock it out. Oh, no, he's not poison type until he evolves into Dust Dogs. Okay. That's fair, that's fair. And that is, of course, the spoilers of the two Pokemon that we're gonna be able to get, a Beautifly and a Dustox uh, to add to our team. Both are located in Eterna Forest. And one of the cool things is, you actually have a very unique opportunity to potentially Shawnee hunt there. And it's a huge focus in my Shawnee playthrough that I'm gonna be doing uh, on my marathon, my 153 marathon, doing a Shawnee playthrough, is those double encounters. Cause you get two encounters, so you get twice the chance to find a Shawnee in those battles. And maybe I'll set aside a little time while we're waiting for Honey Trees to see if we can get a shiny, but I'm just more so focused on just trying to get the Wurmple, of course. But um, it's a great place to shiny hunt with uh, with Cheryl in the original games. So this guy's got a Wurmple. Just showing off all the bugs, man, making me jealous. The Platinum Pokedex has me wishing that we had it too, but Fury Cutter should just obliterate everything here. And the only thing I'm debating is like, do I want to give, oh, I don't want to get poisoned though. Don't poison me. He poisons me, of course. Of course he poisons me. I ask for not to be poisoned and I receive poison. But the Fury Cutter should knock him out as long as I'm not missing anything here. And I'll probably have to run back and heal because I don't want to burn through antidotes and things of that nature. I'd rather just, you know, make sure I'm in good shape. That poison starting to rack up. And then what else do you have? A Glameow. So Glameow we, we one shot. Most certainly, and I'm like pretty over leveled right now just because I've only had one Pokemon on my team. So um, things will even out. I know that the experience share can kind of make Pokemon uh, get a little out of control, but I don't necessarily think it's the worst thing in the world. So that guy just got wrecked. Let me go back and heal. Uh, or maybe it's just the, maybe I could just heal with my bag actually. All right, I have Antidote, so I'm just gonna heal with my bag. Um, let's make sure I'm all healed up though. Yeah, I am. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's see what we got here. The commander. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. All right, time to throw down against Team Galactic. And Commander Mars? Commander Mars. I think she's got Zubat Perugly, yeah. So this is a tough battle, man. Like, no way to rep, you know, no way to kind of dodge that. It, this might be a tough battle. Level 14, yeah, this is a hard battle. 
This is a hard battle for us. I need to hit every Fury Cutter. And I need to not get poisoned. He's going to U-turn out. That's probably a good thing for me. Although I'm going to get Fake Out by the Perugly, aren't I? At which point I won't have the uh, the Fury Cutter spamming. Yeah, this is a level 16 Perugly. Like, this is not going to be easy. This could be our first life lost here, to be honest. I think I go for Fury Cutter and see if it Fake Outs. It does Fake Out. Okay. And that did a lot. I think we go for the... F this is tough. Because I'm going to need to get the Fury Cutters up to be able to beat the Zubat. But I'm going to have to heal after a Fury Cutter anyway. So let's just Rock Smash. It's going to Growl. This is going to be hard. This is going to be a hard battle. I think I can get through it. But it depends on if that if that um, Zubat has... Do I get a defense drop? I do. Depends on if the Zubat has wing attack, which it probably will. We're going to Rock Smash again. Quick Claw activates, which is nice. These, um, these Growls are not helping my cause, though. I don't get the defense drop. I get Growled again. This is actually really bad. This is going to make that Zubat absurdly difficult for me to beat. Here comes a Scratch. See how much this does. It does a good amount. Like, that's a so sizable amount of damage. So now I think what I... Oh, he gets a berry. I think what I'm going to do now... I'm going to Rock Slash one more time. Then I'm going to heal up. Then we're going to start Fury Cuttering and hope that I can I can get enough. I think that's our play here. I get another defense drop, which is nice. Here comes the Scratch again. We should live one. Okay, do I have a Super Potion still? I do. I, I did buy some, so that's good. So we can Super Potion up here. And now we start the Fury Cutter spam, and I need to hit every one of these and be really mindful of how much the Scratch is doing. 52 down to what? Down to 39, yeah. That's rough. I'm wondering if it even makes sense for me to Fury Cutter spam at this stage of the game. I don't think I have a choice. I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I, I, I think I might lose this fight. I'll Fury Cutter again. This is actually big that I get to go first. And then if I can if I can get a, a boosted Fury Cutter off on the Zubat, that could be big. But if he has Wing Attack, I think I just die. The level 17 helps. I really need to learn like a rock move. I just hope he doesn't have Fury uh, Wing Attack. All right, I need to hit this and I need to see how much it does. No! I missed. I missed. Oh, dude, what a really bad time for a miss. He's gonna U-turn again. Okay, I'm just gonna trust. What a really bad time for a miss, Sterling. Super Sonic, he missed, okay. I just need as much damage as possible. Okay. He's gonna U-turn again. 23 to 16, I'm fine. Two more Fury Cutters. Two more Fury Cutters. Come on. 16 to eight. I have to heal. I'm gonna, uh, I obviously beat him with Fury Cutter here. I'm gonna YOLO. We're not gonna miss. We're not gonna miss. We're not gonna miss. We're not gonna miss! That's how you do it. What's life without a little risk? Sterling does it. Climbs back from the depths of that fight to hold it down and win. This can't be. I lost you, annoying brat. I really thought we were going to lose that fight. Whoo! I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. I got you, bro. Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. They had me working nonstop. Thank you. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visit again. Why am I stretching? All right, man. We beat Team Galactic here in the Valley Windworks, which was huge. And I'll tell you what, Sterling has been very, very clutch so far. Very, very clutch.
All right, this is our third honey tree, which is awesome. So we can slather that. And I've got a handful of trainers I've got to beat up here before we can actually get to Eternal Forest. And then in Eternal Forest, we'll actually be able to um, get access to our next bug Pokemon. So these trainers should be pretty easy. We should be, you know, very high level. This Ponyta may be a little annoying, but I don't anticipate too many issues here for Sterling. Let's see what level it is. It is, oh, it's level 14. I mean, listen, that's that's pretty serious, man. That's a pretty serious level. The fact that I'm 17, I feel like I'm over level, but I'm really not that over leveled. You know what I mean? Like, for only having one Mon, this is pretty darn close. If he has Flame Wheel, I may just get blown back by this horse. That could be problematic. That could be problematic. This Rock Smash, get a defense drop. There it is. Okay, so that means I knock him out if I get a hit off here. Quick Claw's gonna activate. He goes for Growl. Okay, so he doesn't actually Flame Charge or Flame Wheel, which would be the biggest issue. We should be okay. I don't get the KO. He just Growls again. We got this, no problem. Could have been a little sketchier if he had been going for fire type moves, but um, Spuddy Todd's gonna go down, so no big deal. And Sterling wants to learn the move Sing. This is where things get interesting. I think I get rid of Struggle Bug finally for Sing, and it may seem counterproductive because Struggle Bug could be good, but a lot of the Pokemon on our team will probably learn it. And as much as Struggle Bug is not a great move, or Sing is not a great move, the freedom to potentially YOLO a Sing and actually hit it is huge. And plus, listen, Sterling loves to sing in the shower, loves to practice its tunes, and at the end of the day, I gotta give it a chance to sing out loud. So we're gonna let, let it learn sing and, and really just hope for the best <laughs> is really what it comes down to. A uh, little YOLO action, there's a little Shellos. By the way, blue Shellos, best Shellos, so forget this little pink thing. <laughs> Yo, look at this battle background. I just got into a battle against this hiker here. And this battle background's amazing, dude. It seems like they have new battler backgrounds every location in the game, or at least like every route it seems. And this one looks amazing. I love it. I really love it. It looks so good. Hiker Daniel, this is this would have been me if I decided to like rock types instead of bug types. I would have been Hiker Daniel. Just chilling here with my hiking stick outside of Eterna Forest. See you later, Hiker Daniel. It was it was nice hanging out with you, my alter ego. All right, it's time to head into Eterna Forest. Let's take a look at what's going on, and there is our friend Cheryl. My name's Cheryl, and you are? Oh, it's A Drive. May I ask you a favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic. I think there may be safety in numbers. Can I please go with you? All right, so now it is time for us to get some bug types. Can I leave too? Oh yes, you can leave. So that's nice that you can leave if you wanted to. So I want to spend a little bit of time kind of looking at some encounters here. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but I'll give it I'll give it a little bit of time of looking in the grass and seeing maybe just maybe I can get a super lucky shiny worm pole. But we do get two new bugs no matter what here, the dust stocks and the beautiful eye line. So there's the moss rock as well, which is pretty dope. So I'm going to get some encounters here in the forest here at the entrance. And if anything exciting happens, obviously I'll keep you guys posted on that. But uh, maybe, just maybe, the Purple Wurmple will arrive. And I have a history with Purple Wurmple. It's a very special Pokemon in the A-Drive world. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find one. All right, so there was no way I was actually gonna get a Shiny, right? <laughs> I spent a little bit of time looking. I had no luck. I'm gonna get the two Pokemon that we need. I'm gonna catch a couple Wurmples. I'm gonna evolve them. Shouldn't be too bad to evolve them. And then we're gonna talk about our two new members, our Dust Stocks and our Beautifly. But again, I gotta kind of pull some shenanigans because we may not actually get Dust Stocks and Beautifly because Wurmple is a random evolution. So I'll, I'll cut when I'm there, guys. Bear with me. All right, we caught our first Wurmple. Let's hope this thing is uh, gonna be a Dust Stocks because I used my Dusk Ball on it. All right, let's find out if Clyde is going to be a Cascoon. My fingers are crossed, literally. Come on, please be a Cascoon and make my life easy, little guy. Come on. Yeah, it's a Cascoon, let's go! Clyde is officially a Cascoon, which you love to see, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's take a look at Clyde, our Cascoon, which is a bold nature. Honestly, not bad. 
We take that. He's got uh, Poison Sting, obviously, Tackle, String Shot Harden. He will evolve into a Dust Ox as well, which is beautiful. And now I just need to get Bonnie, which is going to be our Beautifly. But that's way easier because you can catch a Silcoon and Diamond or just a Beautifly or whatever. So I don't have to actually catch a Wurmple. I can just catch that Silcoon there and we're good to go. It won't have Poison Sting, but it's honestly not a big deal. So let's catch this beauty and then we'll be good to go. Hey, we caught her. Let's go. Bonnie has been added to our party and now we officially have Bonnie and Clyde. And I'll uh, restructure them on the layout a little bit to make them nice and uh, even there. This is Bonnie. Bonnie is a sassy nature and only has Harden. So like I said, kind of misses out on some of those moves, but not a huge deal. Beautiful stuff. What I'm gonna do is they will evolve very very quickly um, So we just have to kind of do a couple different battles. It shouldn't be an issue um, So there was two trainers. I skipped down here Let me go do them real quick, and then we'll go through the forest. All right We beat up this trainer no problemo and Clyde is going to evolve baby And we don't even have to worry about what it's gonna be. It is gonna be an epic epic Dust stocks and that is what I'm talking about baby Dust stocks gonna be awesome. I'm so excited and it's in a dusk ball, which is super cool a poison and bug type Very very awesome for the squad. No doubt about it. Dust stocks are nocturnal Pokemon drawn by streetlights They mostly eat the leaves of trees lighting boulevards and he's gonna learn confusion Which is a really nice move to pick up a good psychic type attack. I think we can get rid of Probably just get rid of tackle. Uh, I don't think that hardens a terrible idea. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Clyde while we get him all sorted here with Confusion. He wants to learn Gust as well. That's actually super clutch. We're going to get rid of Harden for that. So a little bit about Clyde. Clyde loves lamps. Let me tell you. Loves street lights. Loves lamps of all sorts. Anything that's bright lights, Clyde is all over them, man. And I tell you what, Clyde is a big fan of berries and simply eating whatever he can. In fact, if I do not have an orange berry on Clyde or any sort of a berry on Clyde, he gets really angry, starts throwing fits at me, always hungry, always trying to eat food. The thing is, now that Sterling has some friends, which by the way, Sterling's been so lonely up to this point, now has two friends, there's a bit of a love triangle developing between Clyde, Bonnie, and Sterling. And we're going to have to see how that progresses as the episodes proceed here. Clyde's got a little bit of a crush on Bonnie, a little bit of a crush on Sterling, I don't know how that's gonna shake out, but I thought it's worth mentioning. Obviously love to do some scar stargazing, hanging out at nighttime. And one thing to mention that, uh, you know, I don't wanna pass up here is the fact that Clyde is not about the spotlight, right? Clyde is cool being the defensive backbone of the team, helping the team succeed, isn't super concerned about being front and center and, you know, carrying the team or anything like that. Just wants to do its thing and help out for the greater good of the squad. We gotta get some ball seals on this homie and then we'll be right of the rock and keep it moving. So I'll fire off some confusions, beat up this Piplup, and then let's head through Eterna Forest. All right, time for a little double battle action here in Eterna Forest. And of course, that is what Eterna Forest is all about. Those double battles with Cheryl, of course. This this person's got a lot of Pokemon, geez. Uh, we got a Pachirisu and a Wurmple. Check out the ball capsule here. Check it out, we just designed it. All those puffs of smoke shooting up from Clyde. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, we can go for Gust into the Wurmple and try to beat it up. This shouldn't be too tough of a battle. Um, ooh, Clyde took a little bit of damage there. May actually need to just switch out and use Sterling for a little bit, but we'll rock with it. We'll see how it goes. Sweet Kiss into the Worm. It's not too shabby there. And what else we got? He's gonna see, see if he hits himself in Confusion. That'd be quite nice. He actually does. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. I mean, I can take one more hit, so I guess we'll just go for the Gust and get rid of the Wurmple here. It makes sense to me. Here comes a quick attack into the Chansey. Chansey could also heal me up. I think he gets the Life Dew or something like that. So we'll beat the Wurmple. I think he's got three Pokemon, and then it's the Pachirisu, so probably should have went after the Pachirisu first. But that should have all Bonnie at level 13, which is awesome. I th oh, no, at a level 11, rather. Clyde got to 13. And there's the Life Dew, just like I thought. So don't even need to use a potion. Uh, Clyde gonna get a little bit of extra health here. Chansey gonna heal back up and the benefits of uh, teaming up with Cheryl here in the forest. Although that, oh, there you go. I was gonna say that didn't really give me anything, but there we go. And they actually got a Beautifly themselves. My goodness. Um, that's gonna be some XP for me. I'm gonna go for, ooh, do I chance this? 
This is a little sketchy. My team's not exactly healed up here, and I don't really have the best ways to deal with this thing. So I guess we'll just go for Gust and a Beautiful Fly and see what happens. Pachirisu going for Spark into me. If he Gusts into me, he may knock me out. I do a good chunk of damage there to the Beautiful Fly. Chance he gonna sweet kiss the Pachi, which is probably good. This is gonna be really good XP though. I just need him to not. Oh boy. Clyde living on three! Clyde! Okay. We're gonna have to super potion Clyde up. Um, just to make sure that he doesn't go down. And hopefully, Cheryl will do some big things here. And hopefully, Pachi starts hitting itself. It's not gonna hit itself. It's gonna spark into the Chansey, which is good. Gets paralyzed. Hopefully, Healer heals it. It's passive. And Gust in a Chansey is fine. Like, as long as he's not attacking me, like, we're fine. I just don't want... Because I'm, I'm the one Nuzlocking here. Like, if we get rid of the Beautifly, though, we'll be okay. Clyde, Clyde is going to be faster. Podge is going to hit itself here. There it is. I knew it would happen eventually. And this looked like it was a 3 KO. Uh, we need a daz uh, Disarming Voice. And we're definitely not going to get the 3 KO now because it absorbed. That 1 HP... Definitely makes a difference here. I don't think a disarming voice is gonna do that much here. Uh, Sweet Kiss is nice though. A confusion could be really good for us. All right, let's see if it hits itself a confusion. Just hit it with another gust and it doesn't. It gets its own gust off into me and I'm living on a threat again. This is not super bueno for me. There's the disarming voice, doesn't do enough. So I definitely knock him out in the next turn. But I think the safest play here is just to heal again, dude. This battle is actually kind of rough, but that's all right. We'll get healed up one more time. Still got plenty of room uh, for our three potions. We still have one more potion. Should be totally fine in this battle. He's gonna charm. The beautiful eye gets knocked out no matter what here on this next turn, right? I either gust it or it gets hit with a disarming voice or it hits itself a confusion. It does hit itself a confusion. So we would have been okay. I didn't actually have to, to potion there. Uh, we would have been fine, but rather play it safe than sorry. That's going to be a lot of XP, though. Bonnie is going to get to 12 after this battle, it seems. One thing I'm a little nervous about is I think Beautifly has a level at level... Like a move at level 13. I don't necessarily want it to miss that. Uh, Pachirisu plus Silcoon XP may give it too much XP. It may go all the way to 13, in which case I will miss out on a potential move. But I guess we'll find out. These double battles are brutally slow, but that's okay. I'm just here for the evolution, really. Okay, that was a painfully long battle, but we got through it and we get the evolution and it doesn't go past level 12, which is good. I think it has a level up move at 12. That's why I was saying that. Um, but we are gonna beat the two trainers. Very, very nice. And Bonnie is evolving, which you'll love to see. You'll love to see it, baby. Now our bug team is starting to come together. It took a few episodes, took a little while, but Sterling's got some friends, no longer lonely. And Bonnie, the beautiful beautiful fly has arrived. Let's see what moves it picks up, because it should pick up some moves. It has an aggressive nature. It stabs prey with its long, narrow mouth to drain its prey's fluids. There's Absorb, that was the move I was looking for, and there's Gus, so it actually got both the moves I was hoping for, and that's pretty solid stuff. Now, here is our beautiful Bonnie. We're actually gonna put her in the front. And, okay, so, <laughs> I totally messed up, man. I was trying to get a female Beautifly and I ended up realizing it was male. So I went and caught another one and this one's female. So we're gonna use this one instead. Just because I feel like, normally I wouldn't care, you know, but it's Bonnie and Clyde. I feel like they're supposed to be a duo, man. So I got another Beautifly. This one's a female. I wasn't paying attention. Don't mind that. This is a lax nature, which is arguably worse. I don't know. Uh, and it only has gust. It doesn't have absorb yet. It's a lower level. So it puts us at a disadvantage, to be honest. It's not a big deal. Uh, to give you a little bit of understanding and backstory about Bonnie, now that she is officially on the team, she does think that Clyde is cute, right? But she's not sure she's committed to having little Wurmple babies yet. You know what I mean? That love triangle is going to get pretty complicated. Loves flowers and strolls. Uh, do I want to do this in a double battle? I guess I can, right? What's the worst that happens? Um, loves taking nice strolls through the flower garden, especially in Floraroma Town. You gotta love that. 
But here's the thing about uh, Bonnie. Bonnie wants to be a contest star. Doesn't care a ton about battling. Isn't super concerned about being a part of the team in terms of the battles. But really, really, really wants to be a contest star. And wants to be in the contest. Beauty's in her name. Is ready to become the number one contest beautifly in the entire world. So that's what's up with Bonnie. That's what she's thinking about. So we'll see how this love story develops. It's more epic and more dramatic than The Bachelor. So, I mean, who's actually... This thing has energy ball. What are these Abras in this game? Every time I run into an Abra, they're like, oh yeah, here's energy ball. Oh yeah, here's this, here's that. Anyway, while I was doing that whole Bonnie shenanigan swap up, Clyde also learned poison powder. He can be a little toxic at times, all right? We're good to go. We're moving forward. <laughs> I've spent so much time trying to get the right Whirlpool. What a struggle. The right uh, Bonnie and Clyde team. Okay, we're good now. We're good. We can move forward. Easy peasy. We beat some Avras. Let's keep it rocking. <laughs> and now Bonnie learns Absorb properly. So again, just pretend the first Bonnie doesn't exist, all right? It, this is it. That was like Bono instead. All right, a double bug catcher battle. Let's see what they've got. I like my chances, but if they have a Beautifly, they, they could be kind of good. Donald and Philip, Wormpool and Burmy. Ooh, I can't wait to get a Burmy. Because you already know we're going to get a Mothem and a Wormadam, and both of those could be actually really solid for us. So we'll just gust away. This should be a pretty easy battle. I'm going to go after the Wormpool, though, because I feel like the Burmy might go for Protect, and of course he doesn't. And my animations are off. I forgot about that. My bad. I just realized they were off after the Abra battle, too. I'll turn them back on. I turned them off when I did the whole, you know, Bonnie thing that we're going to stop mentioning. I tell you what, this double battle bug catcher is pretty stacked, dude. They had Dustox, Cricketune. Not too shabby. He's really trying to copy my team. I'd be a little more nervous if I didn't have uh, Clyde out on the field here, but he should be able to deal the final blow, get some good XP. Let me turn those battle animations on and let's get through a turn of forest. And it looks like we found the exit for Cheryl. There's the exit. I'm so relieved. I would have never been able to get through this myself. See you later, Cheryl. And alas, another honey tree. So let's set this one up with some honey and let us grab these berries. And I guess we'll plant a new batch of berries as well and head our way to Eterna City. I'm gonna skip all these trainers and come back to them later once I have more encounters. Uh, obviously we have plenty of potential encounters with our uh, honey trees that we're gonna go to on the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. So I need y'all to show some love, man. We got all the way through Eterna Forest. We got all the way through uh, the Valley Windworks and Team Galactic and all their shenanigans. Two new members of the team, Bonnie and Clyde and their love triangle. What will happen next with them and Sterling? We get the friendship checker, which is kind of clutch. Thanks for that. Um, what about you? You're not going to give me anything. And we're going to explore the rest of Eterna City and go check out our honey encounters on the next episode. So hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget, you guys can use code ADRIVE to pick up some G Fuel right now. The link is in the description. Highly recommend it. Only 15 calories, zero sugar, a great blend of vitamin and antioxidants. So it'll keep you fueled and energized throughout the day. It does have caffeine, so I recommend 18 and up. But let me tell you, my blueberry lemonade shiny splash flavor tastes so, so good. And if you love it, let us know in the comment section below as well. Along with our question today, what is your favorite evil Pokemon team? I'm not even standing perfectly in the center here, so I apologize for that. But I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Bug Lock. Peace.